Welcome to this presentation of the STM32F7 Direct Memory Access Controller, or DMA. It covers the main features of this module, which is widely used to handle the STM32 peripheral data transfers. The STM32F7 has two direct memory access controllers designed to efficiently support data transfers from peripherals and memories without any loading of the CPU. The DMA controllers are fully configurable and manage hardware and software priorities between streams as well as data transfer modes. The two DMA controllers, DMA1 and DMA2, have 16 streams in total, each dedicated to managing memory access requests from many peripherals. Each stream has flexible hardware requests and support for software triggers. The stream software priority is programmable, and a hardware priority is used in case of equality. Streams are independently configurable. Each stream has its own data format, increment type, and data address for both source and destination. A forward FIFO by stream allows us to perform data packing and unpacking and burst transfers. Independent stream interrupt flags allow the triggering of half-transfer, transfer-complete, and transfer-error events. In the case of a transfer error, the faulty stream is automatically disabled without any impact on the other active DMA streams. For each stream, the source and destination data size format is independently configurable for 8, 16, or 32-bit packets. The transfer type for the source and the destination can be programmed in a single mode or in burst mode independently. The source and destination address and pointer increment is also independently configurable. The transfer data size can be pre-programmed up to 65535. Circular buffer mode is available to support a continuous flow of data. The source and the destination addresses and the number of data to be transferred are automatically reloaded after the complete transfer. Double buffer mode allows the switching between two memory buffers to be managed by hardware. Memory to memory mode allows transfers from one address location to another without a hardware request. Once the stream is configured and enabled, the transfer starts immediately. When data is transferred to or from a peripheral, the hardware request coming from the selected peripheral is used to trigger the data transfer on DMA peripheral port. Once the transfer is completed, the request is acknowledged. When FIFO mode is enabled, direct mode disabled, the DMA controller manages the data format difference between source and destination, or data packing and unpacking. Thanks to its internal FIFO, the DMA stream can reduce software overhead and the number of transactions over the AHB bus. In burst mode or in single mode, the FIFO threshold level determines when the data in the FIFO should be transferred to and from memory. There are four configurable threshold levels per stream, starting from one quarter FIFO full to FIFO full. Depending on the transfer direction on the memory port, when the FIFO threshold is reached, the FIFO is filled from or flushed to the memory location. Burst mode is only available when FIFO mode is enabled. When setting burst mode, the FIFO threshold should be compatible with burst size. It allows the DMA streams to have the burst data available in the FIFO to carry out a burst transfer. DMA controllers support circular mode, allowing you to configure the number of data items to transfer once and automatically restart the transfer after a transfer complete event. Double buffer mode is only available in circular mode. It allows you to switch automatically by hardware between two memory addresses each time a transfer complete event occurs. In double buffer mode, a status flag and control bit, or CT, is available to monitor which destination is being used for data transfers. The DMA controller provides access to eight streams with multiple channels per stream, depending on the device part number. For example, up to eight channels are available on STM32F74XX microcontrollers. Each stream channel is connected to only one peripheral request. 
A peripheral request can be connected to different streams to guarantee more flexibility during configuration. A channel request multiplexer allows us to have only one channel active per stream. Software must ensure that a peripheral request is enabled only on one stream. Software triggers available on DMA2 can only perform memory-to-memory -memory transfers. Each DMA stream is designed with this group of interrupt events. The half transfer interrupt flag is set when half the data has been transferred. The transfer complete flag is set when the transfer is complete. The transfer error flag is set when an error occurs during the data transfer. The FIFO error flag is set whenever a DMA FIFO underrun or overrun condition is detected or due to threshold burst size incompatibility. The direct mode error flag is set in peripheral to memory mode in direct mode when memory incrementation is disabled. It indicates that new data is being transferred to a memory location, whereas the previous transfer is not yet complete. The DMA is active in run and sleep modes. DMA interrupts will wake the STM32F7 from sleep mode. In stop mode, the DMA is stopped and the contents of the DMA registers are retained. The DMA is powered down in standby mode, and the DMA registers must be reinitialized after exiting standby mode. For more details, please refer to the following documentation available on our website.